Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a book that I think you can relate to. We are back with our friend the bear, and bear has a problem, because this book is called Bear Can't Sleep. Bear Can't Sleep. Now that happens to all of us sometime, but it's winter time, and bear is supposed to be hibernating, and he just can't fall asleep. I wonder what's going to happen. He has to go to sleep. It's winter time. We're going to have to get into this book and find out what happens when Bear can't sleep. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Bear Can't Sleep. Written by Karma Wilson. Illustrated by Jane Chapman. In his home in the forest, while the cold wind blows, Bear snuggles in his quilt from his nose to his toes. Looks like it's winter. Must be time for Bear to hibernate. While the snowflakes fall and the drifts pile high, Bear tosses and he turns. Bear moans and he sighs. He stares at the wall He's not tired at all. And the bear can't sleep. Poor bear. He's having trouble falling asleep. That happens sometimes. Peter Pat tiptoe. Mouse scurries in the lair to check on the fire for his good friend bear. Oh bear, Mouse squeaks. You are up too late. It is winter in the woods and bears hibernate. Mouse frets, dear me, while he brews mint tea, and the bear can't sleep. Mouse is going to try and help bear get to sleep. Bear is counting sheep, one, two, three, four, when badger and hare tumble in through the door. Oh, mouse, says hare, we were just out walking. Bear should be asleep, but we both heard him talking. Bear snuggles down deep in a sad furry heap, but he still can't sleep. Poor bear. Everybody's trying to help, but he just can't sleep. Mouse turns down the lamp. Badger builds the fire up. Hare pours warm milk into bear's tin cup. Then gopher and mole tunnel up to the lair. Mole frets and he fusses. It is bedtime for bear. Mole is trying to let everybody know, come on, bear, it's time to go to sleep. The cold winds blows while the firelight glows, but the bear can't sleep. He has all his friends around him now. Everybody wants to help. Wren, Allen, Raven, flitter, flutter inside to find bear awake with his eyes open wide. Wren hops to and fro. What else is there to try? A song to make him sleepy? So they sing a lullaby. Now they're going to try and sing Bear to sleep. All gathered in the lair, they hum along for Bear. But he still can't sleep. Oh my, the lullaby didn't work. I'm awake, roars Bear, and that's all there is to it. I have tried to fall asleep, but I just can't do it. I'm bored, 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 hollers Bear. So I'll spin you a tale, once upon a time in the Strawberry Vale. The friends huddle in as the story begins, since the bear can't sleep. Well, since he can't sleep, he's going to try and tell everybody a story. Bear tells a story he has never told before, and all his friends are listening. But just before the end, there comes a rumbling snore. When the sun peeks up on a bright new dawn, the friends can't sleep. But the bear snores 
on. Yay! Bear fell asleep with the help from his friends. He finally fell asleep for the winter and he used a story to fall asleep. That's a great way to go to sleep. You and me do it every single night. Read a story before bedtime. That's a great way to fall asleep. And Bear is now snoring for the winter time. I like this book. I love the way all his friends gathered round to try and help him. That's the great thing about Bear and his friends. They're always helping each other. I love that about these books. And I love that we're having so much fun with Bear. But now it's time for you to go to sleep just like Bear. I need you to get under your cover, just like Bear. Get all cuddled up, just like Bear, and ready for a good night's sleep. You don't have to sleep all winter, just until tomorrow morning. So I need you to get cuddled up, curled up, and ready for a good night's sleep. Give mom and dad lots of hugs and kisses, and tomorrow when it's time to wake up and rise and shine, you go out and have fun with your friends. And when you are, do something very important. Obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.